as soon as you come out, you see <laughs> video games with 550 yen. All right, y'all, I'm gonna go fill my basket up and get some games, and then we're gonna go over it after a while. I'm gonna show you around the store still, but I gotta focus, because these prices are amazing. A lot better than Super Potato. All right, so Super Potato, told y'all guys, it was so freaking expensive. I did not like it. I'm gonna go to the other game places. Hopefully those prices are really, really good. The Legend Super Potato, I don't have to go back. I don't want to go back. Let's get on this train and go somewhere else. All right, guys, so to get to the cheaper game stores, I had to get off one train and connect to this train. So when you come into Japan, the train system is pretty easy because you got Google Maps. So when I get on train, I got like 17 stops. It's about like an hour, 56 minutes, then like walking another four minutes to the place. And you can do a lot of walking here. If I can walk here, you can walk here. It's really easy, really simple and great. All right, so we're getting closer to destination. It's been on this train about an hour. Pretty cool, comfortable ride. We got like one more stop and then we're going to this game store. All right, pretty cool structure right here. Look at this. This is nice. Like Japan got so many cool places you can go. We got a few more meters, probably like another five minute walk to uh, this place. And when we get there, I heard it was really good. I can't wait for y'all to see it. All right, we finally made it to our destination. We are right here at the Super Book Off. Now the Super Book Off Bazaar, as you see right here, I think it is on the fourth floor. So we're gonna take this elevator all the way to the fourth floor. We're gonna try to find some video games, y'all. Let's go. All right, so it's on the fifth and sixth floor. So it says CD and DVD, so let's go to the sixth floor. As soon as you come out, you see <laughs> video games of 550 yen. Uh-oh, look at this. This is 50% off. But I don't need to have it, but that's nice. Look, 50% off of that. Donkey Kong Country 1. We're already seeing games here, y'all. As soon as we walk in, so much better. So much better than Super Potato. Yeah, these prices are better than Super Potato. Coming right in and I find these already. I'm gonna get these. What else do we have here? You see a lot of sports games, which a lot of sports Famicom games. You got 50% off of Pay Pikachu. Hmm, this might. I think this box is a little bit better. Got a lot of sports games. What is this? Diddy Kong Racing. 50% off, let's check it out. Famicom games. Already we're seeing a lot of good stuff. Baseball maybe, huh? All right, so we get these. We got a Nintendo DS Lite right here that's pretty cheap. Then we got a PlayStation 3, I guess a controller. A lot of good stuff over here. Look at this, PlayStation 1. Under 50 bucks for that. Then we got a Super Famicom inbox under $27. This is for like 20 bucks. I think I'm definitely gonna get this one. And it's super cheap, y'all. As you can see, this store has a lot of good stuff here. Come around the corner. Now you do see some stuff that is expensive, but it's all right. We got Mario 3 in the box. We got Mortal Kombat 2 in the box. Some of the stuff is still a little expensive. It's not bad expensive. Not like Super Potato. Famicom Games. Hard parts. Pause. Pause? Pause what? So much good stuff in here. What is that? Pikachu the movie. That is crazy. I've never seen that before. It's the Pokemon section. Yeah, boy pockets down there. <laughs> PC Duo, the Dreamcast. And you got the Switch stuff. So it says Nintendo Switch, what's the number one seller here in Japan? Smash Brothers, Link, Mario Kart Deluxe. One, two, and three.
Kyrie's four. Number five, six, seven. Animal Crossing is eight. Number nine is One Piece. What? Number nine is One Piece. All right. One Piece is number nine. Look at that. Then number 10 is Pokemon. The Switch section here is pretty dope. So many Nintendo Switch games. Then got PlayStation 4. Got Mongo. But look at this. Look at this Saturn right here. Both of these. These are nice. I have this one. We've got a lot of the manual systems here. 50% off of these systems. Wow. 50% off of these Super Family. Look at the Super Family Fun. 50% off of this right here. It says 30% off of that one. Okay. 50% off of this one. It's only one controller. Somebody need a white Sega Saturn? Half of that. Or a GameCube. PS1. You got a fake family computer. It's called a play computer. And a Hori stick. 50% off. That's pretty dope. You need an NTSC PlayStation 1. You got one right here, yo. Now you got one here for like 100 bucks. Now why is this one 100 bucks? It's $50 though. Oh, it's a nine. This is a 9,000 series, okay. This is not the 9,000. This is a 7,000 series. We got Mario here. Mario All-Stars? How much is Mario All-Stars? Not bad price for Mario All-Stars. 20 bucks. We got Street Fighter 2. <laughs> Street Fighter 2, look, in the box. 480 yen. Wow, that's a good price. That's an even cool box. I think I'm gonna add it to the pile. How much is Street Fighter 2 Turbo? 1800, okay. I mean, at least I got one Street Fighter. That is nice. Wow, that's pretty dope. How much is Donkey Kong Country 3? Okay, about $11. And here's all the Dragon Ball games, y'all. How much is Dragon Ball? 20% off of this, still high. I mean, I don't need to get it right now. I like to have this box. What is this Dragon Ball game? i never seen this one. This is number three, I guess. Oh, this is like an RPG. Number two. Oh, good, good prices. Super Mario Kart. Yeah. Now, Kart only for Mario All-Stars is 900 yen. Mario RPG, 480 yen. What's 270 yen? Oh. A lot of these games are super cheap, y'all. I mean, amazingly cheap. Look at the country too, look at that. 280 yen. So you got the PS4. I just picked this up at GameStop pretty cheap. We got Devil May Cry 4, physical copy. I definitely might want to pick that up. 3DS stuff is great, look at this. You got a fishing pole. <laughs> you got your 3DS games right here. You got your DS games. I guess I do need a DS game, don't I, y'all? If I'm gonna buy stuff. Maybe I can get this DS game to go with it. What is Wario in? I mean, Mario, Wario Party, whatever that is. How about Dragon Ball Z? Attack of the Saiyans. Come down here to the Wii U. What kind of exclusive Wii U games? Look at this zombie Wii. I love that cover. This game we did not get here in America. Get Dreamcast. And here's the PlayStation 1 section. And the small Xbox 360 section. Some of the games that are super cheap, like these Crash games. Look at this, 480 yen, super cheap. 270 yen for Crash 3. Just to have that cover, 
I just might, just might. All right, y'all, I'm gonna go fill my basket up and get some games, and then we're gonna go over it after a while. I'm gonna show you around the store still, but I gotta focus, because these prices are amazing. A lot better than Super Potato. Look, I didn't even find an American game here, y'all. Look at that. Road Blasters. Mega Drive Sonic 2. Even Pit Fighter. Here's something everybody wants. A Spice Orange Nintendo GameCube. 50% off of $200. This is a $100 system. Not bad at all. And that's the Game Boy Player. Wow. Ladies and gentlemen, y'all, this place is amazing and cheap. So many good games. So Book Off was amazing, guys. We're gonna get back to the room and we're gonna show you what I got at Book Off because those prices were dope. I wish I went there at first, but hey, I know when I'm coming back to Japan, I'm coming to this store, there's so much good stuff. I wish I could take it all home. Are you enjoying all of these Japanese videos, guys? Because we got a lot more. I recorded so much video in Japan. It's gonna continue on next month. And next month, we're starting that PlayStation Pursuit. So look out for the PlayStation Pursuit because it's gonna be amazing, y'all. But what's even more amazing is these games that we got all the way from Book Off, way better than Super Potato. First, we got right here on the side. We got Donkey Kong Country 2. Look at that, y'all. Look how good that game is. I am finally, oh, the best Donkey Kong Country on the Super Nintendo. Really, really good game. Let's open this bad boy up because I don't know what came with this. Oh, wouldn't have been funny if it wasn't a game in this. <laughs> we got the manual, y'all. Look at that manual. It's nice. It's kind of beat up a little bit, but it's still cheap. And we got the cart. 
in the game. Look how that, look how that, look at it, look at it, look, look. This looks so darn good. Oh, so amazing, y'all. We got Donkey Kong Country 1, which I say this is my favorite. I just fell in love with it. I still want a complete box copy. I had one. They're not expensive like they used to be. Now this one, oh, this one didn't come with a manual. Oh well. But it did come with the cart and the Super Nintendo box. Super Famicom for Japan, y'all. And the last Super Famicom game we got, Street Fighter, Street Fighter 2. Now Street Fighter 6 just released at the making of this video and it's so great. I'm probably gonna do a lot of videos on Street Fighter 6 on the second channel. Make sure you go follow that second channel because I'm gonna do like gameplays, reviews, and the podcast are gonna be on the second channel. But we're gonna open this game up, y'all. Oh, wow. Okay, this is why I love like Japanese like games, artwork, and all that kind of stuff. Look how amazing the instruction book it is. Look at that, y'all. Look at that. That is one beautiful instruction book. Now, back in the day, you know, all the instruction books were in color. Me being a huge Street Fighter fan, this is freaking amazing, y'all. I love that. Three Super Nintendo games right there. Look at that. That's why they pick up anything at Super Potato for like less than two dollars. We got New Japan Pro Wrestling 2. It's great. Added that to the collection, to the wrestling collection. What are we gonna talk about? Oh, I kind of want to say that one for last. But let's talk about the PlayStation 4 games. We got Devil May Cry 4. Now, Devil May Cry 4 is on the PlayStation 4 as a download only. The only physical version you can get and play is right here. It was pretty cheap. It was like 1,500 yen, so about, let's just say, under $12 for this. Great for my PlayStation 4 collection. And then, you gotta believe, Parappa the Rapper, another digital-only game that got a physical release only in Japan. Now, the funny thing about the first Parappa the Rapper and the second, you cannot play it on a regular TV because the timing will throw you off. But the original remade is so good. It's still kind of hard though. Pause. Pause? Pause what? Uh, love it. Love this game. I will suggest you guys pick those games up. Then we got a fighting game. We got Tekken 4, which I already have it. I just bought this because it was cheap and I love the cover. This Tekken 4 cover is great. And look at the disc. Look at that. Now Tekken 4, after Tekken 3 was such a huge success, for some reason Tekken 4 just didn't hit that hard. For me, I love fighting games. And when Tekken 4 did come out, I was a little disappointed. I go back now, like, oh, it was really good. The story is actually really good. Like I said, it's two years after the last tournament. So basically, <laughs> two year cycle of making the game, you know. Tekken 4 returns, great story. There's a lot of dark stuff in this game. That's why the cover is so darn dark. But it's really, really, really good game. Last game I got right over here, y'all. It is a special gift package purchase of Ratchet and Clank. And this is number four. But uh, I think this is Ratchet and Clank Tools of Destruction. I think. Uh, or Up Your Arts. One of the pressure that came. I cannot think about it right now. Super cheap game. Look at the cover right there. Look at the back cover. This has a slip cover. Foover. 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 Look at that game pop out. I cannot wait to go back to Japan and buy more PlayStation Japanese games. They're so great. They're, the covers are so awesome. You open the side here, right? They gave you like some kind, I guess it came out during Christmas time, but I guess it's some kind of foam, a uh, phone card, foam, phone card. <laughs> it's Ratchet and Clank 4, they call it over there. And they give you some kind of special code or something else. And then the instruction booklet is nice. I see this a, a lot, a lot of games, right? These advertisements to buy different stuff. That is like pretty cool. You see those? You can just buy whatever. I'll let you see the other side again. But it's pretty nice, y'all. These are just, these are what I live for going to Japan. Buying all of these different games. And then you saw the orange GameCube, which really you can see in the background is there. But I didn't buy it on that episode. That's coming up later. But I did get it, but we'll talk about that later on as more episodes because we got a lot to go over. If you miss any of these Japanese episodes, click or tap on the screen at the end of this video for more. And guys, make sure you watch out for the PlayStation Pursuit. And thank you to all the regular Patreons. Y'all guys are oh, wow, amazing. Thank you so, so much. And always remember to do it the right way. See you next time.